Welcome back. More episodes on the scamp, and I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> Working on Lemmy in the background, but it's my hobby, and I've got an event for this in four weeks' time. I want to see if I can get it close to being finished on the road, having a bit of fun with it, taking it down a pub, <sighs> taking it to a couple of shows before the summer goes. Never gonna get Frank there in time. Uh, but we do have the Splendid Air Ride kit for that. But give me a few weeks on this. Let's see if we can get it looking pretty as a scamp can be. And uh, yeah, so we're basically down here one evening during the week now, building up because basically Saturday is the plan to come down here and Raptor. Definitely the inside. I'm now thinking, gonna try and Raptor the inner arches at the same time. Seems sensible. Um, small dreams of painting the car as well but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's just get some wrapped on it so uh, bought some pizza calanoses calanoses down from MS. garlic and herb dip produced and uh yeah let's get on i bought the rivnuts nuts now so i can we can mount the tank i've started making the second tank now at home had to order slightly more aluminium i've ordered some stainless steel because i want to remake the seat mounts as well shouldn't really i should just leave those box sections there but i want to use a plasma cutter if it's working well so we'll see on that but I might definitely at least unbolt them so because then that just make it no masking up i've got handbrake bits on order as well so we need to take all the four shocks off get it up i may move it across slightly as well i don't know to give me a bit more space but yeah let's get on eat something and let's do the rib nuts first okay here we are we're going to rib nut through the aluminium, rib through nut the steel at the back there, into the rear wing as we call it, should we call it. I'm going to take the seat belt off as well because I've come up with a good idea with the seat belts. So I'm going to change the seat belts um, to fixed three point things and I don't even have a wheel. I don't need inertia in here. I just, I'm going to be driving it down to a, a local car show. Fixed belts will be fine uh, as long as I reach all the switches, that's the main thing. Anyway, if it doesn't work out, we'll have to just change it, but for now. I think they could do with doing some new seat belts in them. Yeah, so let's do that. Remove that, drill some holes, rib nuts, and see if we can get our mounting done. Oh, it's even not down here in the evenings. Okay, apart from drilling one hole incorrect, which we're gonna to have to re-drill in a second and plug weld up. So yeah, um, I made basically TPU, which is like flexible rubberish type material that you can print, 3D print. Some little sort of uh, spaces that went over the aluminum mount. So I then printed some PTEG little bushes and washers to go down. So when you tighten them down, it sort of clamps onto the sort of floor and bottoms out if you saw me uh, leaving a little bit it's not a shape or vibrate but at least it's just not i don't know Maybe it doesn't even need to be but it gave me something to do and uh yeah so rib nuts worked maybe i shouldn't have put rib nuts in into the steel because now there's a hole for water to get in but then as soon as we've had to fix the rust in some other places where there was no holes uh, i think it's quite good to have holes because then we can always squirt some oil down eventually anyway okay uh, passenger side seat belt removed uh redrilled the new mount in the correct place for the fuel tank i'm sure we won't fill it now because it'll just all be hidden underneath the mount anyway so it's all good now take the dash bits out and then i'm thinking i'm going to take the heater out as well because it'd be just easy to stone chip all that and then we can worry about the heater as well i'm thinking of replacing it with just a little 12 volt heater if anything because i don't think the heater is actually more useful for helping to cool the engine on a hot day than it is demisting my windscreens and heating up the car because obviously there's a bit of gap, a bit of air coming in. So uh, let's take some of that out. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just contemplating about those seat mounts at the moment. Oh, I've, got, I've got another evening down here, so I'll think about those. Handbrake, it's gonna stay for now because I don't think my new handbrake, I don't know if it's gonna work, so there's no point mucking about with it just at the moment. And again, uh, I can always touch up the areas if I have to lift anything up. So yeah, heater out. Uh, most of the dash out. I will figure out what I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna wrap to the old lot at the front there. We may just mask the switch panel up or just unscrew it slightly just so it's hanging down. And we'll just mask up the pedals and we'll just go around those as well. I'm not gonna take all the pedal box out. That's just because this car's getting less and less roadworthy every time I touch it. Okay, end of day one, shift. Uh, took the front shock absorbers off as well. One of them was already off because it was attached to the battery box a while ago. <sighs> yeah, so they're a little bit of C's and stuff, but a bit of hammering, a bit of... Um, Crowbarring, they came out. Uh, I swapped over a throttle, um, a speedo cable while I was here, because I was nearly about to buy another one and I just looked on the shelf and I had one. So that's good. So I fitted that as a slightly longer one, but I think that'll work all right because um, the extra distance and the dash and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, shock absorbers off while I was doing that. Loads of mud falling out of the arches, which is good because I need to knock that all out and scrape that out. And yeah. Gonna head home, back to more for some more prep work and we're trying to do a bit more sanding and um, I keep thinking about maybe shuffling around and swapping Frank over just because that's got the lights or do we swing the new lights across because that will help paint. I needed to think what's easiest. Wow, that's a bit better. My technique of sliding them along seemed to work. They had to sort of split them in half, but hey, I thought it was easier than moving all the cars around. We can move. The scamp just away from the wall a bit. I don't think it needs to be too much. I've painted in smaller, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, slightly skew with because of my rigging, but uh, we'll figure that out. That'd be all right. Much better lighting now. Bought the part tank down. Um, yeah, so it's the second night. I've got myself a chicken and bacon, or just a chicken baguette that I've made at home for dinner. I mounted that at the end of yesterday, just put a little rib nut in that and countersunk the bottom of the, the mount. Just because I wanted to, just wanted to check stuff. That's my little Android head unit, it's off a motorbike. Um, yeah, so just waiting on for some more aluminium to take that home and trying to get my worlds better, even though they're not really much better. But what I want to do is put some fuel in this finally, because fuel, I feel, mostly can leak better than water can, but. All right, we need to dear everything off and get all the wheels off, get the shocks off. At the end of this, I'm trying, end of this night, I'm trying to, get it quite close to sort of being, you know, okay, a bit of masking to do on Saturday, but I'm trying to get the bulk of the stuff done so we're in a frame of mind and go through our paint stuff as well. Okay, uh, I was just sorting out some of the bench down there and the paint for later in the video or in the middle of the video. I don't know how this video is going to end. I hope it's going to at least end with the wheel arches and the floor stone chipped. Now, if we can do my dreams of actually painting more, we shall see. It's going to be a big video if it does. Anyway, going to move across a fraction. I can always move Frank across a little bit the other in the other day, next day if I want a bit more room. But oh, I don't need much to paint a mini. Um, just a fraction, I think. I might even even bother. Get the back end up on the axle stands. Get it all up on axle stands as hard as I can. Um, rip the rear wheels off and then take the rear shocks off. That's what I'm going to do in this time lapse, hopefully. Clean one wheel arch out, give or take, very messy job. I'm just gonna nip around and take, there's little clips that screw in all the way on the framework for a soft top that rotted away years ago. I'm gonna take them all out because I don't need to be in the other one. I'm just gonna mask each one up individually and they're a little bit busty anyway. So let's go around and take them out because that's putting me off something else. I'll procrastinate. Oh, ah, 
and then all taken out. Now, I'm not too sure if you can buy an exact soft top, and I don't know if they were custom made anyway. I think years ago there was somebody that made part of a scam factory type scam company, or you know, somebody made them, and maybe there's still some patterns around there. Will those little stud holes, studs be in the correct position? Don't know. It's always going to be a bit of a miss hit of how well it fits here with these sort of things, anyway, even on the cheap it was better in places than others, and that's a much bigger manufacturing thing. Basically, what I'm saying is I don't know whether to do, just plug well all the holes up while I'm here, um, or just sand them off and just spray the thing, and then we can reuse the holes later. Um, because if you plug them up now, it's going to be a bit, of, it, it makes it a bit harder to drill to do what's world in it, but you can still do it, obviously, good drills. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I might just leave it. I can always get some nice stainless things on and put it back in again, can't I? Just to make it look, look like it's supposed to have a top on it. And then I know, I might get around to actually making a top one day. Okay, enough procrastinating. Let's see if we can do something else that's messy. Bit of procrastinating, but a bit of useful procrastinating. Just trying to work out where I want the stone chip or the Raptor bed liner to go. Obviously inside, I want it on the top of the doorstep because I think that'd be quite cool as well. A bit of thickness here just to, when people put their fit on it. So part of me then says this panel will be metallic. So we're gonna go metallic with top coat and gloss and all that sort of stuff uh, because it's a sports car. So the side and these panels, this, these bars, the side of the bars, go clear, I think. Or do I mask up these panels and wrap to all the bars? Because basically I'm thinking around here as well, I want to be wrapped up the top here. Wrapped onto the top of this, I would have thought. Then I'm thinking, well, do I just leave this little section here just to gloss? I'm thinking, well, for this one, it's a rear arch, so maybe I could wrap to that. And then what I was going to do is then cut it off here, and then that turns into gloss, all that side there, and smooth. Um, and then on the front here, we do this, and then maybe, the, and then come up there, so this all stays gloss. But then the back would be stone chipped, wrapped. So do I do all this framework Raptor, mask with the flat panels, and then <laughs> day three. Back down here another evening. It's now Thursday evening. Saturday is paint day. As I said, at least Raptor the floor if I can get that done. That's a start. Uh, so what we've got to do today is I'm going to take the seat belt mounts up because I've got some stainless that's turned up. So I'm going to try and make some stainless seat brackets, mostly not today, but at least take those ones out so we can make the floor a bit easier to wrap, um, or less masking to do. I bought some extra three mil plate aluminium because I want to maybe make some floor strengtheners where the backs of the seats sit on, they sort of push down, they bend the floor a bit, so might be worth doing that and pop everything them in and then they can get me colored coded as well. And then we're trying to do some masking out. We've got the wheel arches still to, uh, why brush off as well, or the other three to do as well. And then we're ready for Saturday. Uh, I've got some leftover Chinese because it was Madison's birthday yesterday. Hello, Madison, editor. Um, so yeah, I've got some of that, but when I get home, I didn't bring it with me. Uh, not that you can see it too well, but you can hope maybe some of the uh, dents where basically the, the feet of the, the, of the seats. Bleedy, bloody blah. All right. Uh, let's try and unbolt these, maybe even take those U-bolts out as well, which is where I think the hooks of the seats are supposed to go to lock them down because of all safety and all that, I won't get ripped out through the aluminium.
Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Maybe uh, I use the same plate that I used, the three mil plate that I made the fuel tanks out of. So <laughs> maybe a little bit longer than it could have been, but it'll be all right. What I need to do now is drill four, six, eight holes, and then we're going to rivet those on, and then they can be roughed up. Roughed up and then wrapped a line over the whole top of them. That's what I think anyway. Okay, drilled, countersunk, because I only got countersunk rivets. So I'll use those on me. And yeah, I might measure, I might just go off the distance of one of those panels there. I know where their feet are. I'll try and get them as square as I can. I don't know, um, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm sure my big fat arse will still bend those, but that makes it a little bit better. I'm slightly happy with that. We'll clean them up, rough them up a bit more, and then, uh, sorry, neighbors. Uh, yeah, and we can wrap to all that, so. The wrap will obviously wear out where obviously the seat goes on it, I suppose, but it is what it is. Okay, a uh, little bit of a reset on things. I've got myself. CV boots, I've got <sighs> gear linkage, seal thingy. I think it's an upgraded one as well. I guess you put that aluminium, got an aluminium O-ring on. I really need to look that up. Got another CV boot in here, but we'll worry about that another time. Some AN fittings, and I picked up, so I ordered up some uh, 716 UNF seat belt thread points because uh the the way i'm going to do the seat belts there was holes all the way through and they had seat belts bolted to it but they were just bolted through the box section so we're going to try and weld them in before that because then at least we get all the welding done before we then start doing any more painting and prep work there you go weld those suckers in safe as ours is Okay, turn the world up a little bit on this side, made it a little bit better. Ah, that's, they're fine, they're, they're solid enough, that's for sure. I trust my wife's life in it. All right, I just thought I'd finish the evening off by putting the CV boot on this drive shaft that had split. Unless I'm missing something, it's been ages since I've actually done mini drive shafts. Uh, I took the outer one off to get the, the boot on because uh, you've got the cage and everything. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the bearings out, but hey, God knows it, it'll be fine. Be better than it was of course so yeah i can rebuild that back up now put some grease in it and uh pop it back on okay end of day three down here uh yeah it's a long way to go but saturday's a full day we're not far off to be honest the rapturing there's still some prep work to do you do with the bonnet and stuff i don't know if i'm gonna try my stuff it's a certain thing. I'll, I'll definitely put some epoxy primer on the small areas. Um, bare metal. Uh, honestly, it's been hand painted, but as long as I run over with two, three, four hundred, I don't need to fill a primer or climbing frame. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Maybe the bonnet, but things like that could be redone. So we're just trying to, it's a quick job. We're just trying to get it ready for the scamp picnic. There's supposedly medals and or trophies and i really want to try and win a trophy because my dad's won a trophy and my sister won a trophy in a slk because it was just a randomly picked trophy from the show it's just like bang random number you won a trophy not jealous at all all right let's go have a wash and uh back saturday <laughs> okay we're back for the last part of the video 
it's Saturday, I got down over an hour late, I should have got some more stuff in the car, sorted yesterday, bring the compressor down and things like that. But I was a lazy ass and I was cutting out some stencils as well. So um, I don't know if I've already said, but we're going to Jurassic Park colours on this, just in case you, I missed it. It's gonna be like a tribute vehicle. This is gonna be, uh, there's a slight theme to it. You'll see it once I put all the stickers on, maybe in the next video. But anyway, it's something you'd find on the island, basically. Um, yeah. I'm hungry, we bought six packs of burgers down. It's gonna be my breakfast and my lunch, and maybe my dinner. Then I'm gonna whack this on time lapse because we're gonna spend the next two, three hours doing all the prep, taking all the lights out, masking up, and try and get to the point of raptoring. So that'll be the next time, hopefully, I'll try and talk to you. I'll just time lapse the best of this, and uh, because we need to crack on. And it's all in the prep, which you need patience for, which I don't have. You need skill, which I don't have, um, but we're just going to give it a go anyway. The trouble with painting these, painting anyway, if you do it a lot with anything in life, if you do it regularly, you get good at it, and when you come to paint your cars as a hobby, I end up forgetting how good or bad I did something three years ago when I last painted something, and then you lose all your bits and bobs, and then you know, I don't have everything like a proper paint shop. I don't think I've got all the panel wipes and things like that, which you should do, but we're just going to have to make do with what we've got and we'll see how it turns out. So breakfast. I don't know if anyone saw that, but uh, just to show you how light the back end is. Oh my, yeah, I didn't video all of that. I um, think I'm nearly there. It's now two o'clock. So that's four, five, six, four, five, five, six hours, I don't know. Got a lot of the stuff masked up, I'm going with basically, I'm gonna actually wrap to line this frame all the way down. I've blocked this off because that's gonna go gloss and smooth, everything else. All these big rear arches will go to stone, raptor, floor, dash area, and on the bottom rail to the, the window. All around the back, all around the rear lights, tailgate apart from the rear panel. Don't know why that gets covered in the wheel though, so I should have just wrapped with that. I'm mastered up now. Uh, and then some of the front as well, and the front bumper I'm going to do. Raptor, I haven't masked the rest of the body up, but I'm hoping I don't need it. Um, we'll have to just DA everything off. So, yeah, blown it down, I've got to have a sweep up now. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're doing.
Raptor liner. We've got, uh, we've got four or eight of these, I think, but hopefully I only need four. We've got another thing, but always make sure you just have a few more because it's going to be, it's really gutty. When I did the pickup once, I ran out and uh, luckily Pete mate had one, so I went around and got grabbed one. Mm. And then you add a mix of hardener with it. You can get black colour, you get different colours, but this is tingible. So what you do is you put a certain amount of your top coat in there. Read the instructions, don't do what I do. And so basically put some hardener in, top coat, give it a good shake and then just blast it on. 60, 70 PSI, I think, or depending on your pressure with a proper gun that comes with it, it gives you different patterns. So give it a bit of a try first in an area that you don't really care about under wheel arches and stuff. Anyway. I might just cook a burger just so I'm not starving and then we may crack on. Okay, a little bit more cleaning up to do and then we're going to go with the stone, uh, the Raptor bed liner. Uh, we're in a shed, we're in a cow shed. So um, I better prime the fuel tank uh, and the tailgate. I'm going to wrap to that as well, hopefully, see how that goes. It's a little bit wide now, I haven't got enough paint, but we'll just have to see. And. Uh, yeah, well, in reality, we've only got two front wings, a bonnet, and a climbing frame to paint, really. So there's not much at all, no doors and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'll put it on time lapse. I don't know if I'll include it, because, again, I'm not a professional, and I don't want people completely following me. I've sort of read the instructions, make sure all your safety gear's on, masks, everything, yeah, good ventilation. And, uh, yeah, because we are using 2K, which can kill! So... I don't want to die. Well, it's been a while since I've done Raptor. I, even though it's quite warm down here, I think last time I soaked the Raptor bottles in boiling water, really softened them up because it just it didn't seem to be coming out of the gun great. But then I can't remember if it ever did anyway. And, but we've got it on there. Eight cans, eight, five, and six, seven, eight, three, eight cans. I did that. I've actually got a couple of coats on it in the end because I was trying to, I suspect I still missed a few spots, but it's going to do. It's a scamp. So we've got quite a few layers on there. It's just quite a lot of sheeting, actually. I've got another four cans still left, but I can't remember what I was going to use them for now. So yeah, we've done all that along there, done the bumper. We've done the fuel tank, we've done the tailgate. We're gonna let that dry off a little bit now, pull the masking off, uh, mix up some top coat, I think, and let's get the top coat sprayed as well while we're still going strong. It's now four o'clock. I ain't gonna get home in time for tea, I don't think. I could just stop now, but I don't know when I'm gonna get down here again. Let me send a message to Mrs. Green and see if I'm okay. Okay, I've masked up for the red now. Uh, maybe masked up too soon. I'm just checking that out. Try and get some more sheet in there maybe quickly. Just a bit of overspray. I don't want to spoil it now. So. Yeah. Oh, six o'clock. Gonna use the small spray gun. Yeah. Unmasked, nearly. Uh, ready for the lacquer now. Stencils actually came out quite good. I buggered up the front one. I forgot to complete paint to start with. And a bit of spray in there. Over spray, yeah. Mask up, mask up. I forgot to paint it and I remembered I'd been mixed up, so I painted it, but then I realised as I painted it that the middle of the P wasn't masked up. And I stupidly tried to do something and that didn't work. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of uh, the sand beige, touch it up a little bit with a brush, and that'll do. It's a scamp. Well, I'm done. Eight o'clock, nearly 12 hours. I had a bit of lacquer left over, so I stuck some on the tank. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I think I've got some runs, but it's a scamp. That's all I'm saying. I just wanted it to look a little bit different and attempt to get a trophy. That's going to be brilliant, just driving down the road. I've, you know, I get the wheels on to match. Uh, yeah, yeah, buggered up around there, but oh, it'll do. Ah, 
It's good having a camper van here with a fridge on as well. So, I know it's not Lemmy, it's not Frank, and it's not everyone's interest, but I enjoyed this long day and enjoyed doing this. Still some more jobs to get done yet before. I think we've got to still do paint, paint. I never did paint the underside of the tailgate because I couldn't turn it over because the Raptor was still a bit squishy. So, I did do it all correctly, but ah, who knows what I've done wrong. Anyway, paint may come off, but it doesn't go fast enough for the paint to rip off anyway. Uh, yeah, whether I'll get a chance to wrap to the other side, but I think the focus on getting it back running again and getting it ready for the uh, scamp picnic. So uh, please hit the like button because I think this is a... I love it, I love this thing. It's my original scamp. Hopefully Dad appreciates the colours. He's not really a Jurassic Park fan, but... And we've got other things turning up. We've got light bars turning up. I've got some new rear lights to fit, I think, LED ones, we'll see. I'm knackered. We go, hammer for bath. Uh, I hope you like this. Hit the like button. Let us know what you're having for dinner. I just had another burger, so that's four burgers I've had today. And I think there's some pizza waiting for me when I get home, but I need a bath first. So, uh, thumbnail, Madison.